the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. At CD Projekt Red, we dedicate ourselves to telling immersive stories. Yet with every new project, we set out to make our games bigger, more complex, deeply engaging. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Cyberpunk 2077 marries exploration of a vast open world with kinetic combat, story-changing player choices, and robust character development. All to bring you into our vision of the dark future. You ever feel like a city doesn't give you a choice? You either burn alive in it, or you never existed at all. The year is 2077. An economic crisis culminating in nuclear conflict has left America in pieces. With most of the continent degenerating into lawless war zones, people from all over have converged on the already overcrowded Night City, one of the world's last great megalopolises. A hub amassing the best in resources and know-how, and home to manufacturers of cutting-edge technologies, Night City continues to offer the promise of a civilized future. What? No, no, this isn't happening. Oh, but it is. But in the city streets, a merciless struggle for power rages. Gangs, corporate agents, hustlers, religious cultists, politicians, and all manner of criminals strive to outplay one another. Ordinary people get caught in the crossfire. Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. In this world, consumed by never-ending conflict, sometimes only an outsider will get the job done. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. And that's you, an urban mercenary, a cyber-enhanced gun for hire. You seem to understand each other. Take this, too. As a mercenary, you swear no allegiance. You've chosen the outlaw life and trust that your abilities will carry you up Night City's ruthless underground social ladder. Heart of Night City. That's it right there. To thrive as a merc, you need the right combination of gear, skills, and reputation. Dex had a load to say about you. I hope he wasn't overselling. With the money you earn, you can turn yourself into a living weapon, buying guns and enhancements in the hundreds. As you roam the city streets, you gain the experience you need to upgrade abilities and acquire perks. Combine the right skills and gear to create a gunslinger with inhuman reflexes. A stealthy netrunner with command of all surrounding tech. Or practically anyone in between. In Cyberpunk 2077, you steal a prototype biochip that can set you up for life. Being filthy rich. When its sealed container is ruptured, the only way to prevent the biochip from failing is to slot it into your head. It turns out it contains the digitized soul of Johnny Silverhand, a dead rocker boy with violence on his mind. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now. He's out for revenge aims to bring down the megacorp that made the chip. Do whatever it takes to stop him, defeat him, gut him. What is in your head can shift the balance of power in Night City. The high and mighty will do anything to lay their hands on it. Told you I'd end you someday. The choices you make will shape your story and determine how events unfold. V, you gotta take them down. That's why we're here. But not everything in Night City is a matter of life and death. Sometimes it's about style, choosing your look, your ride, your pastime, who's at your side. Choosing how you spend your dirty money. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure.
Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. Turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. I believe I am. Are you? Name's Jackie Wells. V. Seems you have cargo to me. Well, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Right? It's kind of like a customer. Which is good, man. Yeah, and so is you. Mitzi native right here. Got hate with him. I've never been to this. That doesn't mean much. No. Imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or just a cousin. I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's bad. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in eye. And you? Yes. I'm the same for my own. You and me? Cargo. Let's load it in the car. Oh, it will. Started thinking you might not come. I got held up. You weren't exactly used to find me. The sheriff. Yep. from the transport. Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Hey. You, uh, sure you've both contraband before? Why? Are you nervous?
You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have to calm down. Hand me the manifest. Lost in the light. Leaves a card with flags to be lost. Seems to cross the border. Want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docus and need a sweetener. You have the credit chip of the bride? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Right. You forgot. I'll keep the engine running. In case of a cock. Do that. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Whoa now! Now please report to room number two. Papers. Is this routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? wrong, just say so. I'm sure we can figure it out. I haven't said anything yet. The question is, should I expect to find anything out? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which Nomad Clan? None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feelings are mature. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you. Customs dickhead got nitpicky. And that ain't normal? Not to that extent. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive.
what you call smuggling? Gallo! Supposed to go smooth! No problems! If you think this is my fault, at least have the balls to say so. I don't know yet. Is it? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences! He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us, and he was right. <sighs> so what now? I could ask the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. Can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this global crap I'm carrying. Huh. You just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I'm just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over. But you're all right. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. So, what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Open it. Aw, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Oh, my miss. A real iguana. A, uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser Antil what? Yeah, what's the thing on TV about him? Think like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. You think you can make some money on it? Sure. I think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half season. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gun interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pair. Name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And NC ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, come on, it's nothing. We got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it, partner. Hey! Oh, cuddly little fucker. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry after.